Hi, today I'm going to talk about uh, Android application, how to connect it with your local uh, SQL server. Actually, I already had one uh, application and uh, I think it's, uh, we have video too, yeah. We talk how to connect your uh, Android application using JDBC to your uh, online database. Maybe you have same this website here. You have you already Windows uh, application uh, Windows website, so you can create database there and you can make it online. But some people they ask me how to connect it to our local server. If I have same this, as here, we have uh, SQL management here. So some people they want test it before they publish it online or live, or some some people they don't have. Uh, or some people they don't have a website online website to to test it so uh what i'm going to do here i actually i will use the same this uh, application here i already uh, talk about it, this one but actually there is small change not not too many things will change it you can download the same this one and there is video you can watch this video after that you can watch this video to learn if you are fancy to to how to connect it to your local server so let's open this project. I already opened it here on my Android Studio. Uh, first things, let's go to our uh, connection helper. So here, what 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 we need to change? Actually, uh, I don't need to change anything here. Just my connection string. How to build my connection string? Uh, so here, you need your IP. Uh, my IP for this. Laptop now your local IP 192.168.0.7. This is my IP. If we want to check it, IP con config. Okay, ah, this is my IP. Okay, good. Second things, second things, or uh, second uh, change should change to our uh, database name. So, as we mentioned in the first. We need to use our local SQL server. So this is my local server. Okay. I just want to show you. I already I had I already create my uh, database DB Android. Okay. And there is one table. Same that table before uh, last same last video. Nothing's here. Just my uh, ID, uh, country name, and city. If we Check the data inside this one. We'll see does this two field here. That's what what we need. So I need to display this one on my Android application. Uh, what's the database name? This one. DB Android. We passed it here too. Uh, okay. Here we need username and password. Actually, we need you need to create a username. For your SQL server, how to log in to your server SQL server? It's easy, not too hard. Just go to login and your uh, SQL server. Just uh, right click, new. You need to create a new user, but should be uh, they call it uh, should be SQL authentication, not Windows authentication. Okay, we need to create a complex password too. And it's not not any password can be accepted. Same this one. As example only, your password, and let's say uh, SAA. Okay, and you need to check the role. You uh, need to put sysadmin, and which database you need to uh, to access. Just this one, nothing more. Let's say I need uh, same. Let's say DB owner. Uh, that's it. Nothing more than this. But I already created one user. I will test that user only. Okay. I have uh, SA user should be shown here this user same time where is it if you back to security user same this one SAA or this my second user here I got it before okay let's back to our user what our user we said we can put this one SA password this my password Okay, that's it. Everything we need to change here, nothing more than this. Okay, if we run our application now, 
it will give us uh, again uh, error why actually you are using local uh, database so you need to open ports what's mean that open port you need to go to control your control panel and to your firewall you can put it off or you can open port i will put it off now i don't need to open any port what's mean open port you can go to advanced settings you need to come to inbound roles you need to create a new a new uh, new role to open the sql server port i think it's one four three three I don't need not to do it. I just don't want just uh, uh, put off my firewall. Uh, actually, we need one more things. Uh, uh, to how to allow our SQL Server uh, to someone a access our database from out of our uh, SQL management. So I don't need to access it just from my SQL management. I need to access it from out of my SQL. Uh, I need to go again to my control panel. Let's say. Go to back to control panel. I need to administrative tools, computer management. I think it's here. Yeah, let's go to uh, my applications here, not in services. I'll say call here. Okay, I need to go to this one. I think, oh, here this one. Okay, now this one here. What we'll have again? Show you exactly where it went. It should be network this one okay i need to enable tcp ib so someone can use my uh, sql agent so uh, my sql uh, engine so i should need to enable it using tcp ib but this one required to restart my my sql from here okay uh, let me again run it one more time again he said get that's it easy easy uh, if you face any any mistake you can let's, try, let's say how to de debug it okay let's just press on this one okay I think it's easy and simple. Just you need to open your port and put your uh, IB and your database name. And be careful, it should be uh, when you go to get data here, it should be same field, I, same this field, same names here, and the same uh, and same uh, SQL Server here, not different names. And even your uh, TV country here, don't, don't mess between them. Okay. Okay, let's back to we said debugging. If press now get, will send us to debug. So I need to just to check my uh, connection string. Okay, it's building here in the button down. Okay. Again, next. If I have an exception, will give me, will throw exception here and say to you there is maybe port or uh, mistake in the login maybe you you couldn't uh, uh, create that user good but to ha have to make sure that user is created you can uh, access with that user let's say his sa this dangerous password here okay i need to look with sa it's with sql authentication not windows authentication should be working here or will give you error they call it 114 uh, 50 some 8 maybe or something like that uh, that one is an authentication uh, mistake uh, so that's it easy easy way and this other as the people ask me to do this video and uh, thank you so much and i hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you and bye bye